the Louisiana Raging Cajuns. And we'll pull up the numbers on the screen here. Um, Louisiana is at very interesting. Very, very interesting because they lose so much and yet don't at the same time. You look at uh, their returning production is 53%, or sorry, 65%, which is number 53 in the country. That's pretty, pretty right down the middle, which is pretty good, right? But they do lose some star power. Let's look over at, let's see, uh, their postgame win expectancy last year. This was a big difference. They went 13-1. and one. We know that was good. Billy Napier got the Florida job based partially on that. They went undefeated in the conference last year. But uh, but their postgame win expectancy was 8.29 and 4.71. So really, uh, the postgame win expectancy numbers expected this to be closer to an 8-5 and five team as opposed to a 13-1 and one team. And they had a real problem with playing down to the level of competition last year. They would get up for the big games and they would barely squeak by in the games against lesser opponents. Let's talk about the offense here. Uh, they're going to lose quarterback Levi Lewis. Uh, they have lost uh, one of their running backs to Florida. They lost an offensive lineman to Florida, Osiris Torrance. Uh, cornerback Makai Garner transferred out. You know, you've got other guys that graduated. It's definitely not good. Tim Legger is the new OC. Um, you know, I, I look at this and... And I'm not sure exactly what to make of it. <laughs> I'm really not. They lose the starting QB, two of their top three running backs, their most targeted wide receiver. Four out of five starters on offensive line are gone. Uh, DeSormo was the co-OC. And the biggest thing here is that the rising starters do know his stuff. So that's certainly something good. There is something to be said about continuity. Uh, does anything change from Billy Napier's system, or do they continue to do the same thing? And if they do the same thing, is there enough star power with your running back, um, Chris Smith, or the wide receiver, Peter LeBlanc, et cetera? Do you have enough star power to be able to run the same thing that you've been doing? I don't know the answer to that. Uh, we'll move over to the defense. Lamar Morgan is the new DC. 13 out of 22 players are back. They play 200-plus snaps. So they do have more experience. However, uh, it, I mean, they're number 41 in defense returning production. But... Their defensive roster strength is number 81 in the country, which is good for a Sun Belt team, but not as good as they have been. Um, the defensive line and the secondary look solid. The top three linebackers are gone here, so that hurts. You need the defensive line to be better uh, because they were number 60 in defensive rushing success rate allowed last year. All new linebackers are going to need to step up here big uh, because that was a key part of their defense. Uh, the passing success rate was great. Uh, they were number 10 in the country. Uh, but they were number 118 in explosive play rate allowed. So that's definitely not good. Uh, everything else last year was good. If if DeSormo can continue the same stuff, the same fundamentals, etc., they were number 2 in turnover margin last year, number 42 in penalties per game, which is pretty good. Uh, you know, you look at you look at this team, and they were number 50 in predicted points added margin last year. That would normally put you at, at what the postgame win expectancy was, which was about 8-5. and five. And instead, they went 13-1. and one. They had a lot of stuff bounce their way. Keys to the season here. Uh, can the new guy keep it going? Can he keep doing exactly what's been going on? He has only ever coached at Louisiana. Both of the coordinators are former Napier guys. So, you know, maybe there's something to that. Uh, they went 7-0 and oh in one-score games last year, and that is... Nearly impossible. So you know there has to be some kind of a regression to the mean on that. Uh, this team had issues, again, playing down to the level of competition. Is it complacency? Is it something else? I mean, do they think that they're better than that? I'm not sure, uh, but they just always, they were incredibly confident. And that's certainly something good. But eventually that can get you beat. So recruiting was pretty good under Napier. This team does lose a lot of star power. Uh, I am curious what they're going to look like under a new guy. I've got them at eight and four. I could see them going anywhere from six and six to even ten and two based on this schedule. And so I I just split the difference, put them right at eight and four. That's the way that I'm going to roll on this bunch. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE at Chris B Giannini 
at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.